I know he's my brother, but I'm definitely the one that got the looks. Ooh, savage! Welcome back to another True Story animation, where today we'll be watching I'm a Gold Digger, I Married a Tree for its Money. I'm sorry, what? Let me get this right, she married a tree for its money. What money? Is it a money tree? I wish I had one of those. I'm seriously hoping that this woman didn't marry a tree. You know, like those crazy people on TLC who marry cars and tractors because they believe that they're alive. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into, but I guess we're just gonna have to watch the video and find out. Headset. On. Tell me how you married a tree. I was standing in front of all these people in my wedding dress, across from a tree in a tux. Oh, it's a cute little lemon tree. Look at him. He has a mustache and everything. He's even got dressed up for the occasion. Don't worry. I felt as dumb as it looked. My face was burning hot. I could hear people laughing at me. I thought about myself bending down to lock lips with a leaf and, oh man. How the hell had my life gotten here? Why is she marrying a tree? I'm so confused. Please, I'm dying to know. Well, let's rewind a bit. Hi, my name is Chi Chi. Hi Chi Chi. And I know what you're thinking. Was he hot? But seriously, yeah, you read the title right. I married a tree. I really don't ever think I've wondered, is a tree hot? So no, Chi Chi, I wasn't wondering that, but I am wondering why. And no, I'm not entirely crazy, just a little bit desperate. You see, my family is loaded. My grandma makes Bill Gates look like a hobo. Her grandma is richer than Bill Gates, one of the richest men in the world? Who is she? Celebrity or what? Growing up, that was always something to look forward to. Based on the boring legal papers that were drawn up, every kid in my family has been set to get a ton of cash the minute they turn 20. Why specifically 20? Surely they would have picked an age that's memorable, like 18, maybe 21. Why 20? I was stoked. Because honestly, there was no way in hell I'd be able to make that much on my own. My brother is a year older than me, and when I saw what happened to him when he got his inheritance, my mind was blown. What happened to the brother? Spill the tea. He went from a crappy car to a luxury car worth a half a billion. He moved out of his dinky dorm and got a friggin' mansion. Can I have a mansion? That would be really nice, please. Don't get me started on the girls that were suddenly all over him. I mean, I know he's my brother, but I'm definitely the one that got the looks. Ooh, savage! Honestly though, you're not siblings unless you're constantly putting each other down. I didn't really have that plan with my money. I mean, I wanted to blow a little of it because honestly, who wouldn't? But my real goal was kind of lame. Was it to marry a tree? I wanted to open a bakery. Oh. I was going to take that money, get a bakery, get a nice little house, and then just live every day like a character in a stupid rom-com. Sounds pretty sweet, right? That is super cute. She works in the bakery, she lives in the bakery, she finds love in the bakery, she raises children in the bakery, she bakes the children. No, probably not that last bit, but she wanted to live the bakery life. But when I turned 20, I found out my grandma sure didn't think so. Grandma walked away. She said, no sis, you're not getting this cash. I woke up that morning actually glowing. I felt like a billion bucks. Probably because I was about to get that handed to me. I showed up at her house and asked for my money. This evil friggin' woman laughed in my face. Evil woman? She's evil because you expected her to give you money? No, I think you evil. You just can't make assumptions like that. When I turn 20, my grandma is going to make me a millionaire. I wish. Like, I get that she's my grandma, but I wanted to deck her in her wrinkly old face. Like, you're kidding me, right? In her crotchety, chain-smoking old voice, she told me, 
You're not getting that money until you're married, honey. Oh, okay, Grandma has put some rules in place. I can't have you going out and spending the money on the things little floozy spend their money on. She knows what women are like. She knows she's just gonna go out, buy some handbags, some shoes, some nice makeup, maybe some clothes. Grandma doesn't want that. Grandma wants you to secure a husband and a family first. I don't think that's so bad. I am sorry. Little floozies? Did my grandma just call me a... Not that you're a total floozy, hun. Great. So my grandma didn't think I was a total s I lashed out at her, telling her it was super unfair my brother got his inheritance. You know what she had the nerve to say? He's a man. He can handle his money on his own. Okay, well, I don't agree with that, grandma. I think men and women have the capabilities to handle their money. You need a man. He can handle his money? I saw him buy a diamond-studded athletic cup last week. What is that? And why did he need that? Diamond encrusted? Are you kidding me? So, I did just what you would expect. I went off on Grandma. I went to town, calling her sexist, calling her old, telling her it was a dumb rule, and that he shouldn't always be the favorite just because of the crap hanging between his legs. Girl, this is not how you're going to get money off of your grandma. Be nice to her. Otherwise, she just might never give you it. That's when she tells me if I'm not married by the end of the week, I'm done. No money. Ever. How is grandma expecting her to find a boyfriend, find a fiance, and then marry him? Unrealistic expectations. You know that moment when you've realized you've crossed the line and your blood runs cold? Yeah. I had run a couple of miles past that line and my entire body was frozen. She made me sign a contract. I didn't know what to do. Stand by my principles or get money. Get money, of course. You know, because your dreams are only going to be achieved with the money that you want to achieve those dreams. So surely go after the money. Marry a tree. Obviously, I chose money. I'm not dumb. So, unfortunately, the hunt for my husband began. Naturally, it began where most marriages do. At a bar. But holy crap. I've never hated anything more in my life. Do you ever want to see pathetic? Go to a bar and sit alone. She's gone to a bar to find a boyfriend who she's gonna marry by the end of the week so she can get inheritance from her grandma. How could this possibly go wrong? I've never seen more creepy guys in my life. Oh my gosh, he is actually terrifying though. Why is his shirt open? Why is he drooling? You know how many guys walked up to me and said, where have I seen your gorgeous face before? That is the worst pickup line you could ever use on someone. Especially if you're a creepy old man. I mean, come on! Or how about, if I buy you a drink, will I get dessert? I couldn't do it. I went home. I bought some mozzarella sticks and sat in my crappy apartment and watched my bakery-owning dreams take a nosedive out the window. I could really do with some mozzarella sticks right now. Oh my gosh. Those look delicious. She's having a great time. I put on some reality TV to drown my sorrows. And that's when I saw it. A woman who married a roller coaster. See, this is what I was talking about. People like this exist. They marry inanimate objects, and I don't really know why they do it. The world just gets lonely sometimes. She blabbered on and on about how they were in love, and she got a real marriage certificate to back up her claims. Obviously, this woman was friggin' insane. But as I went to change the channel, I realized a marriage is a marriage. Ding, ding, ding. An idea has gone off in her head. She's going to get legally married to a tree, a lemon tree, wearing a suit. So I strolled down to the supermarket to pick myself up a husband. In a pair of fuzzy slippers, no makeup, and no bra, I found him. A dinky little lemon tree sapling in a pot. There he is, her future husband. Oh, isn't he handsome? There was something pathetic about it that I loved i guess is it the fact he's got arms because i love that who doesn't love a lemon tree with arms so i bought him and took him to the courthouse i had to do this before i got some sense knocked into me when i went up to the window and demanded a marriage license i thought i was going to be tossed into a straitjacket and wheeled away that instant 
The person behind the counter blinked at me and reached for the phone like she was about to call the police. I told her I was serious. She didn't stop reaching. This woman right now is thinking, oh no, not another crazy person who wants to marry a tree. We've already had five of those today. I'll speak to your manager and get you fired if you don't give me it. No need to be rude, girl. Why is she so rude? I don't know where it came from. Had I suddenly become a mean, middle-aged Karen? of a person? It sounds like you have. You're about to marry a tree, so I'm pretty sure you've gone crazy too. That must have done it, because she started filling out the forms. She asked for his name, and I blurted out the first thing I could think of. Lemon E. Lemon E. 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 Lemon with an E on the end. So creative. I can think of a better name just off the top of my head, like Bert or Christopher. Not Lemon E. How's anybody meant to take him seriously if he's not even got a human name? Lemony, she asked, rolling her eyes. Don't say my husband's name that way, I barked. Maybe I would play the possessive crazy wife role like a champ. I left with the marriage certificate in tow and went straight to my grandmother's. Lemony in the passenger seat. I slapped the license down and told her to pay up. Oh my gosh. Grandma, you have every right here to say no. She asked where the heck my husband was, and I motioned to Lemony. You would have thought I had told the meanest joke on earth. She scowled at me, gritting her teeth, and rolled her eyes. Don't tell me you've lost your mind, she snapped. I think she has, and it's all your fault, Grandma. You should have just made her a millionaire when she turned 20. Not like it was a very big ask, is it, Grandma? Just millions and millions of dollars. I mean, I, I was but with good reason. I told her I really loved Lemony and his strong branches. God, it sounded so dumb. Of course it sounds dumb, because it is dumb. But when Grandma looked at the contract we had signed, the truth crashed down on her. Marriage certificate equals money, and I had a marriage certificate. She slid a check across to me. Grandma just had that check ready to slide across. Like she knew you were coming because you'd married a tree. Maybe grandma always wanted her to marry a tree. Maybe this was grandma's plan. Otherwise, why would she have the check ready at that moment? Ha ha, I think I figured it out. You guys, that's the moment I won the lottery. I thought of all the things floozy spend money on and I started writing my list. This is exactly what grandma didn't want you to do. It's why she didn't want to give you the money in the first place. So you're just proving her right, really, with your new husband, Lemony. New outfits? Check. New stilettos high enough to break my neck in? Check. New house? Check. New hot tub? Damn right. Of course, yeah, I need the hot tub. Gotta warm up those lemons. <laughs> We're making lemonade. I didn't even sleep. I ran around buying all the things I hadn't been able to over the next few days. This is what real living felt like. I tucked Lemony in a closet and went out to make my dreams reality. You can't just tuck Lemony in a closet. He's your husband. He needs sunlight like the rest of us do. Poor Lemony's gonna wither and die. When I found the building that was gonna be my bakery, I wanted to sob. Finally, I was going to have the life that I'd always wanted. I hadn't even spent an eighth of the money. I was going to have a business. I was going to be able to do what I loved for a living. Everything was falling into place. I mean, that's what I thought. Oh, we have some drama. What's happened in your wonderful life of being a rich person? Did the tree die? Did grandma die? Something bad must happen here. Until I noticed the black car behind me. I went to the mall, it was there. I went to a Tinder date's house, it was there. I started driving miles and miles in circles to see if they were still there. Does she have a stalker? Who is this guy in the black car and why is he following her? One day, I, I couldn't do it anymore. Were they the mob? Some thugs? Some creep from high school? Ew, it's that guy again. I hate him, he's so scary. I drove down an alley and cornered the car asking who it was. I rushed to the car and banged on the windows, asking who it was. She's so brave. If I saw a car chasing me, I'd probably go cry somewhere and hope that they didn't try to find me. I don't think I'd be going up to the car and knocking on the window asking who it was. Honestly, I felt cool as hell. 
I felt like a spy in a movie. I mean, a, a bad one, but still a spy. The man put his hands up. I glanced at his badge. It read, fraud assessment. <gasps> that was all I needed. Of course, they were fraud assessment. I mean, my marriage was a friggin' fraud. The man told me I had a week and it wasn't looking good. A week until what? I don't get it. Why is she getting done for fraud? Her grandma gifted her the money. That's completely legal, so I'm confused. I mean, my husband was sitting in a closet, rotting. On the drive home, I passed by the bakery. The realization that I could lose my money, that I could lose the bakery, my entire dream, it was too much. So I did what any absolutely insane person would. I started taking the lemon tree out with me. We went out to dinner, Lemony sat across from me in front of people. I could see people whispering. It took every fiber of my being to hold my tongue. Why is she doing this? I'm so confused. Is she proving to the fraud department that she's actually married to a tree? Because she is, she has a certificate for that. So why is she going on dates with it now? To resist telling them off, but I knew I couldn't. I had to act in love. So I caressed the leaves. Ah. That's where it ended? How could they do that to us? They just end it on her caressing the leaves. Well, apparently, there's a second part to this. So if you would like me to continue with this woman who married a tree, do make sure to let me know down in the comment section. That was seriously wild. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video and you would like to watch another one, click here and let's go watch it together.